she's very tough mentally. She's very quick. She moves well around the court, and uh, she's got a very powerful forehand. I'm very impressed with Steffi. I think um, she's definitely going to be number one. I hear footsteps in front of me. She's ranked, she's ranked three right now. I'm ranked five. So hopefully in a little while she'll hear my footsteps again. She's Steffi Graf, this year's German Wunderkind, heiress apparent to the number one ranking. It is definitely my goal, but I don't think about it yet because, I mean, I think I still have so much to improve. I'm 17 and I have so much years to go on. I mean, they're 31 or 30, so uh, there's a long way to go there. <laughs> From the time Peter Graff put a racket in his daughter's hands at the age of four, he has watched and coached her to the heights of pro tennis. I realized very early, when she was at the age of four, that she was able to concentrate much better than the other girls I helped coach. In other words, that her talent was apparent. The tennis mania that Boris Becker triggered in West Germany has also embraced Steffi, and this spring the 17-year-old started her own blitzkrieg with dramatic victories over Navratilova, Chris Everett Lloyd, and Monlikova, and she has no fear of facing them in Flushing Meadow or anywhere in the future. Most of the people, are, of the players, are afraid to play samba like them, but I think it's very good to play against them because they're one of the best players and you only can learn from playing against them.